guys, what's up? It's Master Ninja here. We are back once again on the Stanley Parable. It's been a little while since I got last played. Uh, number 247. And uh, we're going to run through. Were gone. Yeah, I remember mean? this. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps meeting room. simply missed a memo. Okay, so we're going to actually play the game the right way. Wait, have I played the game the right way? Oh, we're going to go down the other way. No, man, I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to go downstairs, came to a set I guess. Of two open doors, he entered the I'm door indecisive right now. 413, 412. Can I open these? No, I still can't open these. What is this door? All right. Sorry, I skipped through yeah, the whole. There was not a single person escape. here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Talk Stanley less. decided to Do go up to his nice boss's work. office. All the time, every day, he might no, find an so answer I... there. <sighs> Whatever. So, broom closet. Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around well, and got that's back not true. on there's, track. There's like stuff here, stuff here. I'm gonna sit right here. There was nothing this? here, no choice to make, no path to follow, just not... an empty broom closet. Well, if you're gonna no keep commentating, to I'm gonna keep talking. Hmm. There's gotta be something in here. I can't jump. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Yep, he wasn't still even here. doing anything. I'm just gonna sit right here. At least, here. if there was Wait something to it. interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet fa. Fa, sweet fa. <laughs> kind of wonder about this though. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yes, standing I'm still in the broom closet. Nothing. Why? Mm -hmm. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. It's a broom closet. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, stuff. Just a light bulb in here. You know. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd well, said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. It was a broom this closet. Why wouldn't I? To me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Yeah, 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 I never whatever. I would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you did get you the, the broom, broom closet, closet ending? Ending. The broom closet ending was my favorite. <gasps> I, I love hope that. your friends find this concerning. Mm-hmm. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Oh, Bad or so with dumb. drug money. So dumb. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Hookers, maybe. Not the drugs. <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. What's that? You're dead. I'm not dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before okay. it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He I'm not, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. to any number of your Clearly, countless I, human whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, I my chance. No. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. Right. Making sure What's up, they guys? understand Number two here. first person video game mechanics closet? and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. Okay. So that the irony and insightful right, commentary so of this game is not in that lost closet on anyways. them. What are All you right. saying? When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, I'm second player. It's good to have you on board. Thank I you. guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Are you sure about that? I mean, have you seen my history? I kind of want to know what's in here, though. You, too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Have you resurrected yet? Five. Yay! <sighs> Player to my foot. Is he is he still here? Did I avoid him?
All right, I. It, he's not talking. Aw, it's unfortunate. So downstairs we go. See what Coming happens to down a staircase, here. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Walking oh downstairs for me. Whoa. A, but Stanley B, just one, couldn't do it. One two. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. Yeah, I might get fired for And in for such that. a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Wait, maybe, what? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Wait, what? Why I can't see my feet. Why did close automatically behind him wherever he went? Very good point. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yeah, exactly the same. repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. He I'm yelled. dreaming. This is all a dream. Sure. Oh, what a relief state. Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Mm -hmm. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing yep. buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float. Oh my goodness, I'm floating. I'm floating. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And what? it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One okay. he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Okay. Why is there a voice in my head dictating my everything head? that I'm doing and thinking? Very good point. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found yeah, it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And huh. he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. So now, hearing the voice great. speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This Point. voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That okay. this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Okay. And invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Okay. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my wife? job. All oh I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Okay. I am okay. I am okay. Okay. That car still there. Door still shut. Nope, I'm definitely not okay. Stanley began screaming. Ah! Someone wake me up. My <laughs> name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Did I die? This is the story died. of a woman named Mariella. Who's Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Why but am I dead? On this day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Huh. Everyone knows what crazy people look Let's like. The broom closet and part. in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. Ready to be heard I now? know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body so would you just leave the dead body the what what all right the end is never the end is never the end is loading oh, i took too long again <laughs> Okay, so this time I'm going to go through the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. I know, I know, Stanley I know. knew it perfectly well. Uh-huh. Perhaps yeah, perfectly. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Employee just to lounge. admire it. Yes. Ah, That's what, exactly yes, why I came here. Truly a room clearly. worth admiring. Uh-huh, Lou. Really Lou. worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this Has anyone ever wondered why there's like these like room. little rooms Stanley inside of rooms without here, the walls? Drinking it all in. I've always wondered that. Just the architecture but of it. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I, I, I'm going to do that later. First, I want to see Stanley what's was so in bad here. at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Very true point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. All right, Look, so... Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. If I don't I'm jump not, off this time... Really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your I trust in someone fine, else can be difficult, but the fact is that Not the really story sure. has been about nothing but you all this time. Sure. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision. Is this is my yourself. wife. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh, it is my wife. Okay. This is it, Stanley. I'm gonna go uh, trust my wife. to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who is she? Why is she in a dark room? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. It's just gonna keep ringing to like pick it up. How long is it gonna pick up? I wonder. Ah, whatever. Hello? Whoa, well, where are we? Is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. I have an amazing okay, wife. There we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. It's a mannequin! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit I their hope life I to did. you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, but you're in my story now. No, this is my story. Can I open this door? No, okay. Hello, loving wife. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, what? Good morning, employee. Uh, press 4 on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press one. Look at him there, pushing buttons. Doing oh, exactly no. What he's told to I do. get this. 
Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. He's... One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. He's totally like creating, changing but in the his world. Mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. That it sounds like wonderful. an awesome job. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Huh. Press three to watch TV. And so he began to fantasize Whoa. about his own job. First, he imagined that one day He's while gone. at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Oh, wow. A to prepare dinner. Where's the dinner at? Dinner's in right there. Okay, so. Boop. As he wandered through this oh, fantasy wow. world, he began to fill it with many wife. possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And I, down another was a game with a baby. And he called it a the Stanley line. Parable. A yellow line? Tell your kids your story. Okay, so I guess that's wife. It was such a wonderful fantasy. Oh, okay. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I love you! But you're going to vanish. There is no yep. answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Yeah, apparently. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Press four to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Am I supposed to push it or am I not supposed to push it? Okay. I'm going to push it. You see? Can he just not hear me? Oh. How do I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Well, uh, I can't. You kind of told me that last time, so. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. No. Nope. I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled okay. to. I must. Perhaps... Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please and die. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Please die? What? It's evil. All right, there's one more thing I wanted to try this episode. And it would be to stay inside my room. Whoa. There's a lot of paper out there. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, paper, paper, paper. There's a lot of papers. Okay, well, that didn't exactly work. Um, 
So uh, at the beginning of the next one, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try to not leave my room and see what he does, and then uh, we'll do that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see, and uh, we'll be back again on this game real soon. Um, thanks, Monkey Man, for joining me for this this last episode. This was kind of fun. Um, but yeah. No matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't yeah, find a trace of his co Turn off computers. Okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning.